All right, guys, we are working on the KTM 2011 990 Adventure today. Um, we are replacing the intake system. We removed the SAS uh, system off this bike. And now we're going to re remove the canister, the charcoal canister, or we call it the, I guess they call it the canisterectomy. So uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your, um, gas your gas tanks are pulled off the bike. And inside the left gas can or tank, you're going to have this canister right here. And this is what we want to remove. So first step is I'm not going to show you how to remove your gas cans or your gas tanks. But inside the left, you, in order to do this canisterectomy, you want to remove this canister. Again, uh, this is not an instructional video. This is just basically my journey on updating my KTM. So I'm not going to give you a step on step by step on how to do things. I'm just going to show you my journey on making the modifications to my bike. So with that being said, we're going to remove this piece from the left gas tank and basically eliminate it, basically to eliminate some weight off the motorcycle. Uh, we did buy a kit from Rottweiler that will help us remove this and we put a, we'll put a dongle on it so it'll trick the computer to um, think that the system is set up. We are going to do a stage three, so the lines that come through the throttle bodies we are going to uh, basically hook it up where we could balance the throttles uh, at a later time so there is stage two stage three we're gonna do a stage three so first thing first let's remove the canister out of the gas tank and then we'll come here and we'll remove this section off the motorcycle we'll put in the dongle and then we'll reroute the the cables all right let's get started Okay guys, once you have this removed off the motorcycle or the gas tank, you just pop this out and these things should just basically come right out. Uh, you do have to remove the spring clips and basically these should just pop right up, just pull these hoses. Okay. And this one right here. Let's pull those out. Now, if you are doing the stage three or stage two, I believe it's the stage three, you could reuse these hoses. I actually have the hoses that Rottweiler provided for stage three. So once it's released, you could just basically throw this out. All right, guys, so you're gonna come to the front of the motorcycle and pop this piece out right here. It's gonna be basically hooked up on this bar. And this is where you want to remove the sensor. Let's pop this bad boy out. All right, so it's held on by this metal piece. Let's get a screwdriver and pop it out like that. And then you can pull up on it and it should come out. Put that to the side. Put that to the side and then this should just pop out right there. And then you should have that piece where you're going to put your dongle in there. And we want to remove this piece here. We're going to retain this. And put our dongle. This is the kit that the um, Rottweiler basically gave us. It has the dongle right here. So I'm going to open it up. And we'll drop it in there. Alright, so this dongle should fit right into here. It does then you want to take your metal bracket and push it back in so that it retains the dongle and this should trick your computer to think that the canister is still applied to the motorcycle and there it is right there it should look like that and then you could just zip tie this to here and move forward just like that and there you go so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and follow it to 
the throttle bodies. So on the 990 Adventure, if you're removing this section, you if you're doing stage two, basically where this T is, you would just cap it off right here. Rottweiler does provide a cap where you could just uh, cap it off and um, place it within this hose and that would be stage two. If you're doing stage three where you are going to balance your throttle bodies, what you need to do is you need to run this line here that goes to this throttle body right here and this line right in here, right down in there, uh, on its own separate line. And you could route them through here. The ones you do not want to touch is you do not want to touch this one. So on the, on the left side, it's the left that goes to the map sensor. Leave that intact, do not touch this one. And then on the right side, leave this one right here intact that goes to this map sensor right here. The only ones that you want to touch are the ones that are at the T. This one right here on the left side, the front left and the rear right. Now if you're doing stage two, you can use a cap off. The cap off would be with this. Basically it'll screw right in and it'll cap it off. So this is for stage two. For stage three, we're gonna run new lines from the first top left. We're gonna run a line and the back rear right. We're gonna run a line and we're gonna run them back here so we can balance our throttle body at any time. Again, second stage is cap at the T, leave this intact. Stage three is basically run new lines for the front left, the rear right. And I'll put the diagram on the screen of how Rottweiler recommends on how to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these because we are running stage three. We're going to eliminate this cap, this T, and we're going to eliminate this right here. So we're running stage three on this because at one point we do want to have the easy access of balancing, balancing our throttle body. So uh, I'm going to remove these and then I'm going to put new cables, I mean new hoses, and I'll show you what it looks like. So if you are doing the stage three, you're going to run the cable from the back rear throttle body right side up. And what I did was I mounted it on the doghouse storage and got a hose clamp. And then you're just basically going to take this little screw that Rottweiler provides and you're just going to screw it in this hole. And at any later time, you can come back in and balance your throttle body. So let me screw this in and uh, show you what it looks like. All right, so that's what it looks like capped off and that's what it looks like on the throttle body. So on this side, it's the same thing. It's the front left throttle body. You route it back up here and then you route it. If you have the doghouse, just attach it to the doghouse. Uh, I could show you how the parts and what I did to uh, mount it. So let me grab those and, and show you. Okay, so basically I'm just using a cable clamp. Uh, it's a 3 8 cable clamp. Uh, also I'm using an M6 by 20 millimeter. Uh, these are kind of long. I'll probably shorten these later. So basically what I did was I came up here and placed this clamp on the box and traced it with a sharpie and then I came with a punch marked it dead center and drilled it out with a 732s drill bit and the finished product is this right here so punch it drill it and then I do have to get some shorter screws uh, we can get that from the hardware store just to make it look a little bit cleaner because these are too long But I don't have any in my house. So I have to go to the hardware store and get some some new screws um, Also, I'd get Allen. These are Phillips, which I don't like and then basically It looks clean 
come back in later and balance your throttle bodies, it's easy access. So that's what it looks like. So let me show you how we run the air vents to the gas tanks and we should be complete with the canister removal stage three. To give you a better view, this is what it looks like from the side. Here's the venting nipple. Put the hose on, make sure it's routed. You could zip tie it, whatever, to open, open pieces. And that's gonna fit on just like that. And this is gonna vent down. And that's what it's gonna look like. This is gonna be against the motorcycle and this is just gonna dangle or sit between the bottom of your skid plate. So these hoses here, Rottweiler basically does offer them in the Stage 3 kit. So if you are gonna do Stage 3, then uh, I recommend just buying it from Rottweiler. They have all of the um, necessary equipment for this. So if you're doing Stage 2, uh, this is not incorporated. So just to kind of recap, we removed the canister from the left side of the gas tank. We rerouted the gas airflow to the bottom of the skid plate. We've removed the sensor and capped it with a dongle. We did a stage three modification where we can balance the throttle body at any time. If you're doing stage two, again, you would leave that T and just cap it at the T and we hooked it up to the doghouse storage. So we should be good to go. Stage three is complete. So I appreciate you watching. Thank you.